Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the first half of section 9.2. Section 9.2 is dealing with developing the formulas for circles and for polygons. We're just going to talk about circles today. Circles. A couple of different measurements we're going to talk about with circles. We're going to talk about area and we're going to talk about circumference. With area and circumference and all of these things that we're doing in this chapter, it's a lot based on the formulas and knowing those formulas. That's why I've designed the notes in this way. So you'll have all the formulas on the first sheet and then the extra examples on the back. The formula for the area of a circle. The formula for the area of a circle, if you don't already know it, is equal to pi times radius squared. We are going to try to leave it in terms of pi because on standardized tests it's going to leave it in terms of pi. So when we talk about leaving it in terms of pi, our answers are going to have pi in them. So we're not going to multiply by 3.14, we're just going to leave it in terms of the pi. Basics about these shapes, circles. You'll notice I have two different measurements here. This is the center. C is the center of the circle. And so for out from the center come a couple of different things. And this red thing is the radius. And the radius goes from the center to the outside of the circle. And the blue one that goes all the way across is the diameter. We've already learned about this this year. The diameter goes all the way across. The radius goes halfway across. So it goes from the center to the outside. The diameter goes through the middle of the circle from side to side. When we find the area then, remember we're going to be using the radius. So area is equal to pi times radius squared. And so if I have the diameter equals 16, it follows that the radius equals 8 because the radius is halfway across the circle. The diameter is all the way across. And so if the radius is 8, all we're going to do is plug and chug. So the area of circle P is going to be equal to pi times 8 squared. And I'm going to show you how to leave this in terms of pi. We're going to multiply out the number. So we're going to have 64 pi centimeters squared. This answer is in terms of pi. Notice, I did not multiply by 3.14, or 22 over 7, or 3.14159265. I just left it as pi. That's what it means to, to keep it in terms of pi. So 64 pi centimeters squared is the answer to this question. Talking about circumference. Circumference is the perimeter of a circle. The circumference is all the way around. And so it's what it's going to take for me to go all the way around this circle. I need to know a couple of things. It can either be based on pi or no, it can either be based on the diameter or on the radius. Once again, if I have this circle and the blue is my diameter and the red is going to be my radius. Circumference is going to be equal to 2 times pi times radius because 2 times the radius is the diameter. So I just rearranged it to be 2 pi r. Or it can be based on the diameter. Pi times diameter. Notice 2 times pi, I use the commutative property to move things around. 2 times radius is equal to diameter. So really these formulas are the same, but it's just based on what measurement you have. Again, the formula, circumference, is equal to. Now, I want to find the circumference if the area equals this. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of reversing. 
remember, circumference is equal to 2 times pi times radius. Why did I use that formula in this case? Well, I know if I have the area, the area is going to be based on the radius. So I'm going to associate the formula for the circumference that uses radius with the area formula because they both use radius. Area equals pi times radius squared. So pi times radius squared equals 9x squared pi. Look at what I've got. I need to solve for the radius, and so what I'll do is I'll divide by pi on both sides because that will get rid of pi. So I've got radius squared equals 9x squared. And so if I square root both sides, I end up with r equals, and the square root of 9x squared is going to be 3x. So my radius is 3x. How do I use that? Well, then I plug that into my formula. So this is 3x, and I'm going to multiply that by pi and times 2. I'm going to leave it in terms of pi. When I do a little bit of rearranging, I have 2 times 3 times pi times x, which is equal to 6 pi x for my circumference. Notice, I rearranged the formulas, I solved for a variable that I didn't know, and I went ahead and found that, that radius that I needed and plugged it back in my formula. That's all, it is to, that's all there is to it. All you need to do is use the formula to solve for what you want and plug it back in. I have a couple of extra examples down here, so if you want to write those down, example one, I'm going to be finding the radius once again. Now notice, I didn't have these highlighted, but these are for you. Find the radius of circle, this is the symbol for circle, for circle x in which the circumference equals 24 pi inches. So remember, if I'm finding the radius, I know I'm going to associate some things. And I want to find the area of circle A in terms of pi, in which C equals 4x minus 6 pi meters. That's all I got for this part of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.